prayer is earthly license for divine intervention prayer is opening the gate of time for god in eternity to intervene in time prayer is opening the gate of time for god in eternity to step into time what it means is that god will not step in because he's god because there's a law that stops him from stepping in but when a man prays when a woman prays in the plat through the platform of prayer we beckon on god to intervene in the affairs of man to invade the earth space as the spirit that he is he has to do it that by invitation praise the lord divine intervention on earth is not determined by heaven divine intervention on earth is determined by earth divine intervention on earth is not determined by heaven is determined by earth when earth begins to invite when earth invites god to come into earthly matters to come into human issues and challenges then he responds to that invitation in the book of revelation chapter 8 from verse 1 revelation chapter 8 from verse 1 and when he had opened the seventh sea there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour verse 2 and i saw seven angels which stood before god and to them were given seven trumpets every time we talk about trumpets we're talking about a message so when they were giving seven trumpets there were seven messages that were about to be sent into the earth but you need to know that heavens will not intervene in the affairs of the earth until somebody on earth beckons them to come so there were seven trumpets but the seven angels could not operate until another angel operated it was the activity of the eighth angel that activated the seven angels to operate verse 3 and another angel came verse 3 verse 3 verse 3 and another angel came and stood at the altar which altar altar in heaven no altar on the earth and he was looking for something that is why when i when you hear a tap or feel a tap early in the morning is an angel that tapped you standing on the altar is waiting for something incense is waiting for something prayer with which to ascend i will also make a statement because we're in the neighborhood angelic ascension is not determined by angels is determined by humans angels will not ascend because they want to angels will ascend because you made them to how by giving them incense and prayer with which to ascend that is what the bible says and there was given unto him much incense that comes sometimes from our worship that comes sometimes from our sacrifice and that he should offer it with what yes 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 with what with what the prayer of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne so there were two altars here one is the altar where the angel is standing the other one is the golden altar where is the golden altar in heaven where is the other altar where he collects prayer and incense from the saints on earth so it is your prayer and incense that empowers them to ascend so angelic ascension and they ascend with incense and prayer they descend with fire but the release of fire will not happen until incense or prayer ascends so the bible says verse 4 verse 4 and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayer of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand so the angel carrying your prayer the angel carrying your worship he ascended from their hand and ascended to God and with that the angel was granted access telling you something your angel is not giving access to the golden altar by himself he's giving access to the golden altar by you This is showing you the importance of prayer that for the angel to assess the golden altar where he will pick fire 
where he will pick different things and release into your life it is your prayer that enables the angel to do that work and verse 5 and the angel took the censer and feed it with fire of the altar that is the original uh, altar in heaven and cast it into the earth and there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and earthquake today of these four divine manifestations whichever one you need for this week's activity for this month's activity for this year's activity for the second half of the year's activity will declare them released from this altar in the name of jesus in the next one minute demand let the four divine manifestations as mentioned in verse 5 of revelation chapter 8 become your experience if his voices that you need to speak to some things declare today i declare divine voices activated on my behalf today in the name of jesus hey somebody is thunder another person is lightning another person is earthquake declare today in the name of jesus i need some earthquake in my space to shake up some things i need some lightning to answer a certain authors where my name has been summoned and called somebody what you need is thunder that the voice of the Lord will thunder on your behalf in the camp of your enemies and they will be put to fly.